All improvement in your life comes from changing your beliefs about yourself and your possibilities. Personal growth comes from changing your beliefs about what you can do and about what is possible for you. Would you like to double your income? Of course, you would. Let me ask you a question. Since you started your first job, haven't you already doubled or tripled your income? And what you have done before, you can do again, and probably over and over if you just learn how. You simply have to believe that it's possible. Napoleon Hill said, Whatever the mind of man can conceive and believe, he can achieve. Everything that you accomplish in your outer world is a result of your self-concept. Because of this, you always operate in a manner consistent with your self-concept, whether positive or negative. Even if your self-concept is made up of erroneous beliefs about yourself or your world, as far as you're concerned, these are facts, and you will think, feel, and act accordingly. The worst of all beliefs are self-limiting beliefs. If you believe yourself to be limited in some way, whether or not it is true, it becomes true for you if you believe it. You will act as if you were deficient in that particular area of talent or skill. Overcoming self-limiting beliefs and self-imposed limitations is often the biggest obstacle standing between you and the realization of your full potential. According to an article in Fortune magazine on learning disabilities in business, Many presidents and senior executives of Fortune 500 corporations today were diagnosed in school as being not particularly bright or capable. But by virtue of hard work, they went on to achieve great success in their industries. Thomas Edison was expelled from school in the sixth grade. His parents were told that it would be a waste of time to spend any money educating him because he was not particularly smart or capable of being taught anything. Edison went on to become the greatest inventor of the modern age. This kind of story has been repeated thousands of times. Self-limiting beliefs, sometimes based on a single experience or a casual remark, can hold you back for years. Almost everyone has had the experience of mastering a skill in an area where they thought they had no ability and being quite surprised at themselves. Perhaps this has happened to you. The fact is you have more potential than you could ever use in your entire lifetime. No one is better than you, and no one is smarter than you. People are just smarter or better in different areas at different times. Each person is capable of achieving excellence in some way in some area. Your responsibility to yourself is to cast off all these self-limiting beliefs and accept that you are an extraordinarily capable and talented person. You have the ability within yourself right now to accomplish almost any goal you can set for yourself if you're willing to work long enough and hard enough to achieve it. The good news about beliefs is that all beliefs are learned. They can therefore be unlearned, especially if they're not helpful. When you came into this world, you had no beliefs at all about yourself, your religion, your political party, other people, or the world in general. Today, there are many things that you know about yourself that are simply not true, and these are almost all in the area of self-limiting beliefs. The starting point of unlocking more of your potential is for you to identify your self-limiting beliefs. What if you were possessed of an extraordinary ability in an area where you didn't think you were very good at all, such as selling, entrepreneurship, public speaking, or money making? I have filing drawers full of letters and emails from people who had never heard this idea of self-limiting beliefs before, but once they heard it, they changed their entire attitudes toward themselves. They began to see themselves as far more competent and capable in key areas of their lives than they had ever been before. In no time at all, they began transforming their lives and changing their results. Their incomes doubled and tripled and quadrupled. Many of them became millionaires and multimillionaires. They went from the bottom of their companies to the top, from the worst performer in their sales forces to the highest earning person in their companies after they changed their beliefs about themselves and their personal potentials. They learned new skills and took on new challenges. They set bigger goals and threw their whole hearts into achieving them. By questioning their beliefs and by refusing to accept that they were limited in any way, they took complete charge of their lives and created new realities for themselves. And what countless others have done, you can do as well if you absolutely believe that you are destined to be a big success. You will walk, talk, and act as if everything that happens to you in life is part of a great plan to make you successful. People look for the good in every situation. They know that it's always there, no matter how many reversals and setbacks they experience. They expect to get something good out of everything that happens to them. If your beliefs are positive enough, you will seek the valuable lesson in every setback or difficulty. You will confidently believe that there are many things that you have to learn on the road to achieving and keeping your ultimate success. 
When you start off, you may not feel like the great success that you desire to be. You will not have the self-confidence that comes from a record of successful achievement. You will often doubt your own abilities and fear failure. But if you act as if you were already the person you desire to be, with the qualities and talents that you desire to have, your actions will generate the feelings that go with them. For example, if you want to be one of the top people in your business, dress like the top people, room like the top people, organize your work habits the way they do. Pick the most successful people in your field and use them as your role models. If possible, go to them and ask them for advice on how to get ahead more rapidly, and whatever advice they give you, follow it immediately. Take action. When you start to walk, talk, dress, and behave like the top people, you soon begin to feel like the top people. You will treat other people like the top people do. You will work the way the top people work. You will start to get the results that the top people get. In no time at all, you will be one of the top people yourself. Your focus must be on creating the beliefs within yourself that are consistent with the great success you want to be in your outer world. You achieve this by challenging your self-limiting beliefs, rejecting them, and then acting as if they did not exist. You reinforce the development of new life-enhancing beliefs by increasing your knowledge and skills in your field to the point where you feel equal to any demand or challenge. Your aim is to reprogram your subconscious mind for success by creating the mental equivalent in everything you do or say. You develop new beliefs by taking actions consistent with those beliefs. You act as if you already believe that you have these capabilities and competences. You realize that you are developing, shaping, and controlling the evolution of your own character and personality by everything that you do and say every single day. You should only think and talk about the things that are moving you toward becoming the person you want to be and toward achieving the goals that you want to achieve. Make a decision this very day to challenge and reject any self-limiting beliefs that you might have that could be holding. You back. Look into yourself and question the areas of your life where you have doubts about your abilities or talents. You might ask your friends and family members if they see any negative beliefs that you might have. Often they will be aware of negative self-limiting beliefs that you have that you are not aware of yourself. In every case, once you've identified these negative beliefs, ask yourself, what if the opposite were true? For example, what if you had within you right now the ability to earn and keep all the money you could ever want throughout your life? What if you had a golden touch with regard to money? If you absolutely believe these things to be true, what would you do differently from what you're doing today? Now, here are three things you can do immediately to put these ideas into action. Act as if you were one of the most competent and highly respected people in your field. How would you think differently from today? Imagine that you have a golden touch with regard to money. If you were an extremely competent money manager, how would you handle your finances differently from the way you handle them today? Identify the self-limiting beliefs that could be holding you back. How would you act if these self-limiting beliefs were completely untrue? Foreign success is not an accident. Failure is not an accident asterisk either. I also discovered that people who are successful in any area are usually those who have learned the cause and effect relationships between what they wanted and how to get it. They then did repeatedly what other successful people did in a particular area until they got the same results. This insight changed my life. No one is really better than you, and no one is really smarter than you. They just may be better or smarter in different ways, at least for the present. If someone is doing better than you are today, it's probably because he or she has discovered the cause and effect relationships before you have. And anything that anyone else has done, within limits, you can do as well. The fact that someone else has achieved a worthy goal is the very best proof that you can achieve that goal as well. Personal and professional development is the most powerful tool that you can use to achieve any goal you can set for yourself. Elevate yourself from wherever you are to wherever you want to go by simply learning how others have done it before you and then by following the paths that they have already blazed. You've heard it said that the average person uses only 10% of his or her potential. According to the Stanford Brain Institute, however, it is actually closer to 2%. The average person has enormous reserves of potential that he or she habitually fails to use. Nature is exceedingly generous. She provides each person with an abundance of abilities and possibilities, most of which go untapped throughout life. If you were to use only a small additional percentage of your inborn capabilities, you could probably double and triple your results. You could accomplish things far beyond anything that you have ever done up to now. You could be healthier, happier, and more prosperous than you've ever imagined. 
I believe that each person has the potential to do something wonderful with his or her life. I believe that within each person there is a giant waiting to come out. I believe that each person can do vastly more than he or she has ever done before if he or she only learns how. That's my fundamental value. What is yours? Create a long-term vision for yourself in the area of personal growth. Project forward 5 or 10 years and imagine that you have developed fully in every important part of your life. Idealize and see yourself as outstanding in every respect. Refuse to compromise on your personal dreams. What level of skill or ability would you have in your field? What level of status and prestige would you have attained as a result of your superb performance at what you do? What kind of work would you be doing, and at what level would you be doing this work? How would you think and feel about yourself as a result of being one of the very best at what you do? If you had no limitations at all, what would be your vision for how you would develop yourself in the months and years ahead? Now, take your vision and crystallize it into specific goals. Here's a good way to start. Take out a piece of paper and write down 10 goals that you would like to achieve in the area of personal and professional development in the months and years ahead. Write in the present tense, exactly as if you were already the person you intend to be. What do you want to be able to do? Decide the person you want to become. Describe exactly what you will look like when you become truly excellent in your field and your personal life. Then, review this list of 10 goals and select the one goal that, if you achieved it, would have the greatest positive impact on your life and your career. Put a circle around that goal and move that goal to a clean sheet of paper. Create a schedule for achieving this goal. Set deadlines for achieving certain benchmarks. Set sub-deadlines as well. Make a list of everything that you can think of that you'll have to do to achieve personal excellence in that area. Organize your list into a plan by setting priorities on each of the items. Gather the books, materials, equipment, and other resources you will need to begin working on yourself and your goal. Then, take immediate action on at least one item in your plan to get the process started. Resolve to do something every day until you are successful in that area. Never stop working on yourself until you become the kind of person you would ideally most like to be. Set specific measures on each of your goals. If your goal is to excel in your field, determine how you'll be able to know when you've achieved it. Decide how you can measure your progress and evaluate your success. Perhaps you can use as a measure the number of hours that you study in your field each week. Perhaps you can measure the number of books you read or the number of audio programs that you listen to. Perhaps you can measure your progress by the number of appointments you get or the number of sales you make as a result of your growing skills. Compare yourself against these measures on a regular basis. The more precise your measures and the more you pay attention to them, the better you will become in that area and the greater progress you will make. You first determine your values, your vision, your goals, and the knowledge and skills you will require to achieve them. You decide upon the ways that you will measure your progress toward each of them. You then do something every day that makes you better in some way. You read, take courses, listen to audio programs, and practice your new skills, and never stop improving. Select the specific habits and behaviors that you will need to practice every day to become the person you want to become. These could be the habits of clarity, planning, thoroughness, studiousness, hard work, determination, and persistence. Perhaps the most important single quality for success is self-discipline. Albert Hubbard, the writer, defines self-discipline as the ability to make yourself do what you should do, when you should do it, whether you feel like it or not. Napoleon Hill called self-discipline the master key to riches. Every day and every hour of every day, you have to practice self-discipline. There are seven disciplines that you must develop if you want to achieve all that is possible for you. You can learn each of these disciplines through practice and repetition until they become automatic. Here they are. 1. The discipline of daily goal setting. 2. The discipline of daily planning and organizing. 3. The discipline of daily priority setting. 4. The discipline of daily concentration on your highest value activities. 5. The discipline of daily exercise and proper nutrition. 6. The discipline of daily learning and growth. 7. The discipline of taking time daily for the most important people in your life. These seven disciplines will virtually assure that you perform at the very highest level and get the greatest satisfaction and results from everything you do. There's a simple, practical, proven self-development formula that you can use to double your income in the years ahead. Most people who practice this formula each day report extraordinary improvements in their lives. Try it and see for yourself. I call it the thousand percent formula. 
This thousand percent formula is based on the law of incremental improvement. No matter how excited or determined you are, change and progress take place slowly. It takes your entire life to become the person you are today. It takes a period of hard work and determination to become someone different. We do not usually make significant and lasting changes in quantum leaps. All permanent change is progressive over a long period of time. This type of change requires patience and discipline. It is only this type of change that is truly worthwhile and enduring. If you continually learn, study, and upgrade your skills, clarify and re-clarify your goals, set better and clearer priorities, and focus on progressively more valuable tasks, you could increase your overall productivity, performance, and output by one-tenth of one percent each day, day after day, indefinitely. Because of the law of increasing returns, every effort you make to be more productive in one area will tend to improve your performance in every other area at the same time. You will get better and better results in less time the more you practice. If you become one-tenth of one percent more productive each day, five days per week, at the end of one week, you will be one-half of one percent more productive. That's one-tenth of a percent times five equals 0 0.5 or half a percent. At the end of four weeks, you will be two percent more productive. That's four times half a percent equals two percent. At the end of 52 weeks, you will be 26 percent more productive than you were at the beginning of the year which is 13 four-week months times 2% per month equals 26%. This is where the compounding effect of new knowledge and skill begins to work. An improvement of 26% per year compounded over 10 years will result in an increase of 1,004% in your overall productivity in one decade. Now, since we live in a merit-based society, as you increase your ability to contribute value, the amount you will be paid will increase as well. By improving your overall performance by 1,004%, your income will eventually rise to match the value of your contribution. Well, here are the seven steps in the thousand percent formula that will guarantee that you become at least one-tenth of one percent better daily, one-half percent better each week, two percent better each month, and 26 percent better each year. 1. Arise two hours before your first appointment and read for one hour in your field. This is called the golden hour, and it sets the tone for the rest of the day. Leave the television off, put the newspaper aside, invest the first 60 minutes in yourself and in your mind. This first hour is the rudder of the day. 2. Rewrite and review your major goals each day. Before you start off, take a few minutes to write out your goals in a spiral notebook in the present tense, as though you had already achieved them. This programs them into your subconscious mind to be alert for opportunities to achieve your goals all day long. 3. Plan every day in advance. Friends, make a list of everything that you had to do the night before, before you end your work day and before you go to bed. This enables your subconscious mind to work on your list while you sleep. Often when you awake in the morning, you'll have ideas and insights that will enable you to achieve your daily goals faster and more effectively. 4. Always concentrate on the most valuable use of your time. Select the one task that can have the greatest positive impact on your work life and begin on that task first thing in the morning. 5. Listen to educational audio programs in your car. Turn your car into a mobile classroom, a university on wheels. Never allow your car to be moving without educational audio programs playing. This activity is so powerful that it alone can give you your thousand percent increase over the years ahead. 6. Ask two questions after every experience. These are really magic questions in that they enable you to learn and grow more rapidly from everything that happens to you. The questions are, 1. What did I do right? 2. What would I do differently? According to the law of concentration, whatever you dwell upon grows in your experience. Whatever you pay attention to increases in your life. Whatever you focus on, you tend to do better. 7. The seventh and final ingredient in the thousand percent formula is for you to treat everyone you meet like a million dollar customer. Treat the people you work with the same way you would treat a valuable customer of your firm. Treat each prospect or customer as if they had already purchased a million dollars worth of what your company sells and were thinking of doing it again. Especially treat the people at home as though they were the most valuable people in the world to you. Because they are. Remember, you are your most valuable resource. Your earning ability is your most valuable asset. Invest every day in improving yourself as a person and in increasing your ability to earn even more. 
Decide today to develop yourself to the point where you can achieve every financial and personal goal you have ever set and become everything you are capable of becoming. Thank you.